Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. We're talking about signals here. Well, last time we talked about analog signal, the counterpart of analog signal are digital signals. Digital signals are already digits, numbers. And since it is very easy for us, for computers, to calculate numbers with the binary system, we use the binary system. So either it's there or not. We only have two symbols, yeah? two things, and those two things are either zero hmm? or one. Yeah? This is so called binary system. There's a video about this binary system, you can watch it. And we have, if we group those things, yeah, we can, now we could only transfer two different, two different information, zero or one. Yeah? However, we are not only using one binary digit, yeah? we are using several of them. Yeah? So we do have we do have not only one digit but a number of digits. Make one more yeah? because this is the usual size. So we have eight binary digits, yeah? either a zero or one, and the combination of these, this is one bit, yeah? and the combination of these now gives us two raised by the power of eight 256 different information bits. Red informations. Because what is behind a, a certain combination of bits is up to the protocol. Okay? And usually those 8 bits is called one byte. Yeah. Actually the, the standard definition or the, the, the definition of a byte is the is the smallest processing unit a computer has. Okay? So there were computers out there which did work with 12 bit by byte, 6 bit by byte, 4 bit by byte, 9. And there were different different systems out there and a byte was or actually is dependent on the used hardware. Okay? However, 8-bit architecture uh, was very, very common. And so, a byte got synonym for 8 bits. Synthetically correct, correct name of a byte would be octet. Octet. Yeah, because it consists of 8 bits. Yeah. This simply, you know, people used it. Yeah. People used it and that's it. Yeah. So we can change those numbers and we can do it in 256 different steps. Yeah. However, in steps, and this is typical for digital signal, that we can only change it in steps. Even if the smallest information bit yeah, is changed, I change it by a 256th part of the whole information. Yeah? There cannot be anything in between. Or I'm using not only one byte, I'm using more bytes to code a, diff uh, a signal. Yeah? This is then up to... We're using 
32 bit, for instance, yeah, four times this. Yeah. Digital signals. And now I only have to transfer eight times a different situation, zero or one, which can be distinguished very easy, yeah, transferred very easy. And well, on the other side, I receive this. Okay, so this can be directly read by computers. Yeah, so this thing can directly be read, be processed. By computers. Controller. If it's a digital controller, yeah, this makes it convenient. Yeah? I transfer a series of bits and the other one, the other communication partner, does already know what's happening. Yeah? If I change only one bit, it might have a totally different meaning, all right? So, so a change of one bit can make a totally different value. Can they can change the value big, tremendous, yeah, enorm. enormous, enormous change. <laughs> yeah. By half even, yeah? half of the possible, yeah? the last, the most significant bit, if we would understand this simple as number, the most significant bit would already change the signal by half the full the full scale. Well, this is something, right? Yeah, so digital signals, usually eight bits, one octet, also called one byte nowadays, yeah? and we have to transfer this. Transfer this, yeah. So this information needs to be transferred from one position to the other position. Yeah. Next time we are going to talk about how this transfer might look like, how many different ways we can have to transfer a signal. Yeah. We can think about. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.